The Carolina Panthers are finalizing a deal with Bucks offensive coordinator Dave Canales as its new head coach. Joining me with more insight on who Canales is, is 10 Tampa Bay sports director Evan Klosky. Evan, we appreciate your time. Obviously, you had the opportunity to cover him last year. He was in Tampa Bay for just one season as the offensive coordinator. It was his first year as a signal caller. What were your takeaways from his performance in that role there in Tampa Bay? Yeah, first and foremost, let me just say this, the energy, the positive attitude, that's going to jump right off the page. I remember the offensive coaching search for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last year. They interviewed double-digit candidates. Then all of a sudden we heard about a guy named Dave Canales. He wasn't on the original, like, nine or ten, ten guys to start was a late bloomer in the process. And I remember the first press conference with him being like, I can see how this guy won the interview. He is an amazing communicator. He has a clear vision. He knows exactly what he wants out of his guys. And throughout the season, we saw a lot of progress with this Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. I mean, you talk about Baker Mayfield, who threw for more than 4,000 yards. He's a finalist for the Comeback Player of the Year. Then go back to his days in Seattle, where he was the QB coach, and he helped Geno Smith win comeback player of the year. So he's worked with guys like Geno, Baker, resurrecting their careers, getting them fat contracts. And then you look at your situation there in Carolina with Bryce Young, a player that the organization has gone all in on to make sure that, that he is the future for that franchise. So grabbing somebody who, who honestly understands how to mold a quarterback, make the system very offensively friend, friendly, and then scheme wide receivers wide open at points where the reads are very easy. I think Bryce Young is going to thrive under Dave Canales while Dave Canales still learns how to continue being a better play caller as he's only done it one year in the NFL. Yeah, Evan, you know, you mentioned just one year as the signal caller there, one year in that OC role. We talked before we hopped on here to do this interview, and this was Canales' only head coaching interview. So were you surprised that the Carolina Panthers decided to roll the dice and say this is our guy? I mean, third time's a charm maybe for David Tepper? Yeah, I, I was a little bit surprised, and I was actually surprised both ways. I'm surprised that Dave Canales, who is a little bit of this up-and-comer, somebody who is building a foundation here in Tampa Bay where, you know, they're on an upward trajectory, maybe trying to continue pushing your chips into the Tampa Bay pile and, and push for a better situation in the future. You know, having said that, when a head coaching role opens up and, and you have a vision with somebody like Dan Morgan, who you have a history with, well, you're going to try and make something happen and... and at, jump on it when you can. Uh, as for Carolina, you know, entering this again from an outsider's perspective, it did seem like they were either going to get someone who was highly qualified and a veteran, somebody who can come in here and, and take the reins of the personnel, or an up-and-comer who's willing to take that risk on some of the external factors we see from the, the outside. And, and you mentioned, you know, Tepper as the owner uh, and the year that he kind of had and his history with head coaches and, and really willing to change very quickly. With Dave Canales, I don't know if it's going to spark right away as far as changing everything around in the wins and the loss column. But I guarantee you the vibes in that building will be great, even if this organization has lost for, what, like six years in a row? Yeah. Even with all that, and if things don't go well, you won't know it by his attitude. He's going to come in there. He's going to uplift everybody. He's going to make the players feel positive about themselves. And between him and Morgan coming from that Seattle Pete Carroll-esque sort of upbringing, you're going to see a lot of that in the building, which will feel good. And again, the winning should follow at some point. Does Tepper have the patience to wait for it? That's the question that I have uh, from over here in Tampa. Well, that's the question that all of us have. Patience has not been a thing <laughs> here in Carolina during the David Tepper era. We'll see how this one plays out. But you've, you mentioned this multiple times since we've been talking, and I've heard it from multiple people around the league. It's the attitude. It's the positivity that Canales brings with him here to Carolina. You just said it. Six losing seasons here consecutively in Carolina. So how does he step into a locker room and motivate some of those veteran players that have been here for the Matt Rule era, that's been here for the short-lived Frank Reich era, and now are completely starting over with someone else and, and, and their system. 
I mean, it's really impressive what Dave Canales has done in less than a year's time in Tampa Bay. He had to get Baker Mayfield, a quarterback who everyone threw to the curb, somebody that you guys know very well there in Carolina, couldn't make it happen over there, and he turned him around. The offensive line was completely shuffled entering this season, so he had to deal with a new offensive line. He had to deal with a new quarterback. Rashad White at running back was very unproven. He struggled out of the gates, and then he blossomed later on. Then you also had to deal with veterans. I got to make guys like Mike Evans and Chris Godwin happy. So he dealt with rookies, second-year guys, youth all across the board, and then he also had to earn the respect of the guys who have been there, done that, have won Super Bowls in that locker room. And I remember talking with Mike Evans a couple of weeks ago. And when someone asked him, hey, Dave Canales is probably going to get some interview requests, what would you think of him being a head coach? And he said he's a brilliant mind. And what he does, the attitude he brings, that's going to resonate with a lot of players in this league. And Mike Evans has seen a lot of offensive coaches in his time here in Tampa Bay, right? This is only a recent trend for us over here for the Buccaneers to be winning as much as they are. So Mike has been through it. He understands what looks good, what doesn't look great. And the fact that he exploded, had the season that he had, along with these guys really progressing from game one to that final game in Detroit. That's what you want to see from a coach, not necessarily the, the statistical numbers, which aren't great on paper when you look at it, but you want to see this group get better game over game and throughout the course of the season. So that shouldn't be a, a worry. He's going to work his tail off. He's, he's really been chomping at the bit for this type of opportunity. He was passed up for like 12 years in Seattle before getting an offensive coordinator gig so when he gets in there in Carolina he's gonna be working hard and you're gonna see those guys in that locker room fight hard for him and the top priority is helping Bryce Young find success in his second season obviously the Panthers believe in him that was their number one overall pick in last year's NFL draft but unfortunately that rookie season just full of completely tough times all the way around for him and this franchise uh, some SoCal vibes maybe from Canales and, and Young can connect there but how do they come in and, and how does he build that relationship with him how does he restore his confidence and, and how can they find success and sustain it throughout Young's career. Well, I'll tell you this, Dave Canales is going to walk into that, that uh, QB room and be like, hey, you, see, you know that guy Geno Smith? You know, you know that guy Baker Mayfield? Look at what they did beforehand. Look at th what they did after they worked with me, right? So he won't actually say that, but the resume is there for him to prove that any quarterback that I work with, man, I got you. And the best way to put his offense is it's, it's very QB friendly, little bit of kitty gloves. And, and I say that in a sense that the reads are very easy, right? He's going he's gonna to make sure that the ball is getting off of Bryce Young's hands, right? Here's read one. Here's read two. Check it down. Get away with it. Like, it's going to be very structured. It's not going to be hard to learn this type of offense. You run similar routes, just in different formations, different looks marry the run with the pass and so you keep the defense is guessing so there's going to be less on Bryce Young's plate the playbook is going to be very easy to learn for him and he's going to make it simple and that is the best thing that he does with quarterbacks is hey I don't want you thinking of 9,000 things when you walk up to the huddle here's what you have to look for this is where the play opens up for man to man this is where the play opens up if it's zone Make the read. If you got a check to a run, go for it. And then, you know, here we go. And, and as well as everybody else in, in that offense, right, the offensive line doesn't have to hold for as long anymore. Uh, the, the wide receivers are going to be schemed open. And I know separation has, was probably the biggest issue for those receivers in Carolina this past year. He's going to create separation for you, which is going to help Bryce Young with those windows. And, and I'll say this, watching Bryce Young twice this year, uh, I, I think that he's got a really nice deep ball, and that's something that Baker Mayfield struggled with for the majority of this season. And Dave is really going to push trying to hit those home run balls when they count. And I think that that's where Bryce Young is going to thrive. So I would be shocked if Bryce Young struggles under Dave Canales. Again, wins and losses aside, I don't know how that's going to work out, but I would bet on Bryce Young.
All right, Evan, you've sold me, but last offseason, I got way too excited with some of the moves with <laughs> drafting Bryce Young, doing the trade to get the number one pick. So I'm going to keep my expectations low. I'm going to just, you know, take this uh, and maybe not openly tell people how excited I am with uh, everything that you just told me there about Canales. I may have even predicted that we would win the NFC South last year. We know you guys in Tampa Bay were able to do that, and you mm -hmm. may have did it here in Carolina at the bank. But thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for all the insight. And uh, – 10 Tampa Bay Sports Director Evan Klusky, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Hey, hope for the best, expect the worst. It's always my strategy. I like that, right? I'll take that. <laughs>